good morning everybody. Barry Fear here with a quick update for Thursday the 9th of, of March. It's nearly 8.30 in the morning here. And my stay at respite is about to come to an end very shortly. Um, but just look at that view out there out here overlooking Karengai Chase. Look at that. Wouldn't you like to wake up with a view like that? I'm sure you would. Just look at that. Another magnificent late autumn summer's day here. A top temperature of 27 degrees. Look at that. Well, that's just about it from me here at C9. Thank you all for having me. I'm, I look forward to your company when I come here next time. This is an awesome house. Uh, thanks to the staff and management here. You've all been great. And from me now, I will see you at Wabash. Bye for now. Good evening everyone. This is my first night here at Cromer and I'm Barry Beer. Welcome along to my first episode here at Cromer and I'm looking forward to bringing many videos and shows to you. And I'm really excited to be here and what a glorious day it has been today. But I've just been told, viewers, that some rain is on the way, so, so you better get your brolly handy. So, I've been in Queensland for 10 months. I can close the book on Queensland and open open the book on the brand new Wabash. So it is really great to, to be here guys. I'm really loving it here. The time is nine minutes up to seven o'clock here Thursday evening and thank you all so much for welcoming me here. I am really looking forward to being here at Wabash and it's a great house, great dog too, so it's really great to be here and thanks to everybody for being so welcoming and letting me come into your homes. I am really looking forward to come living here and looking forward to working with some awesome stuff and my first dinner tonight okay it was real salt and vegetables yum oh so i now declare my stay at wabash officially open so this is wabash house in the heart of Crimea, um, thank you for having me. I am really looking forward to being here. So, so Wabash, thank you for having me, and I really look forward to being here. So, thank you, everyone. Thank you to the management. And, the CPA for having me back. It really is a wonderful house to be in and the staff are friendly too. So I really do look forward to living here. Living here and guys, what a terrific house Wabash is. So Wabash, hello, thank you for having me.
Well, we just uh, um, down the park and gone to the dentist today, and I had a lovely salmon and avocado sandwich on whole grain bread. Lovely, eleven dollars. If you're in the car from Hill area, guys, check this. Where's your bean out? A brand new cafe in my offside. It was a nice cafe, and the people who ran it seemed very nice too, weren't they? They were nice, yeah. They were nice, and so, like I've said, if you, if you feel like a cup of coffee or a, a sandwich at Castle Hill, why not pop on in to the Castle Hill? Shopping centre and to check it all out. It's all there for you. The dentist, the dietist, the IGA, you name it. There's a doctor there too. Uh, there's a doctor there and a chemist, you name it. It's all there for you. So why don't you pop on down to Castle Hill? Shopping center and check it out because we've been there a couple of times now and Manuela and I think it's absolutely fantastic. So on Thursday when we bring the show to you, we're going to go for an eye appointment and and have the eyes done. And all that, so a couple of big appointments coming up uh, next month as well. Speech for, for psychologists is coming up next month, so a big month for appointments coming up. And just recap, recapping uh, the park today. Uh, it was really good, a beautiful day today. The sun, the sun is still shining and a few clouds rolling in, but nothing in the way of rain. Here's my offsider. Yes, it's a lovely day today, wasn't it? It, it was, was really nice. Not too hot, not too cold, and it is coming to the end of winter guys so only a couple of more weeks of winter and then we're into spring here's my offside when does spring start the first of september oh well, there you go good job barry yeah not far is it you got two more weeks or something uh, two more weeks so yeah. so on so on so, 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 yes, um, um, so, but, so, so, we've done a fair few, few things, um, since uh, I've come here, come here, so, um, pretty good. So, this is part four now of my Out and About series, which I've put together here, um, Brave Park for you viewers out there um, and who knows where next Tuesday uh, Tuesday event um, show will be from but if we go back to the Sunshine Coast fields what's the golden rule check the uh, weather first <laughs> check the weather because you know what happened the last time we went and it was grey and overcast. So before you set out guys, always check your weather and have um, your, your, your raincoat, okay, and, and your things like that, okay, so um, Always be prepared for any weather situation, okay, but if it's too wet, 
don't go and keep my off like yeah rain in a wheelchair can be a tricky combination and ramps isn't it that's right and I'll always check first as well um whether there's been any incidences at the train station uh-huh yeah i don't think that's very common well i hope it's not very common but yeah yeah, we found out. So, so always check everything first before you head out the do head out the door. Watch the weather report for the following day. Uh, like if it's going to be fine, cool, warm, hot, or wet, or hailing, or a thunderstorm. Is my offside. I think that's good advice. Very good advice. So, so, and um, that's the end of part four of our Mendes. Part five is coming up on Thursday. So stay tuned, everybody. Bye. Bye. Well, good evening, everybody. It's Thursday, April 28th. Barry Fear with you. And, and Emma. And Emma here. Welcome to another one of our videos. Um, now, since we last left you, um, we talked about um, being polite to staff and letting them then uh, do what's best for us. But like we said, if you don't want it, that's completely up to you. And we're going to be filming this marvelous backdrop here. Yeah. Look at that. Should I turn around? Turn it around. Look at that. Now isn't that a picture perfect? Yeah. Postcard here. Look at that. Like palm trees and all the bushes. The palm trees and all the bushes there. And then watch the sunset. I'm pretty sure the sunset's ahead, isn't it? Because it's quite bright over there compared to the rest. Now, while well, we're filming this sunset, going back over what we discussed on Anzac Day night for those of you that missed the show. Okay. It is important to listen to people and to trust people when they are talking to you. Yeah. And if they are going to talk to you. Don't just raise your voice. Hear them and now for her opening season. Yeah, so like Barry said, um, no matter how much you disagree with what anyone tells you, never raise your voice because if you give negativity, you get back negativity and it doesn't lead to anywhere good. Okay, because say if I was going to take certain medication, like I'm going to very soon, okay, if I keep refusing it, I can get crook, and it's the only way. But when I'm going to talk about medication tonight, we're going to talk about how important it is to trust people and let people finish their sentence. Here's my offside. Yeah, Barry's right. So although, you know, it might be annoying when people try to encourage you to take, you know, to take medication when you don't feel like it, they do mean well. And it is completely up to you whether or not you choose to take medication. But just remember, people, they only want the best for you, no matter what they suggest. Like, don't view people telling you what to do. They're just recommending options for you. And it's completely up to you what you want to do. Just um, politely decline if you don't want to do what they recommend. But don't go, no, I don't want to do it. Yeah. 
you know, we're the black white because why is that gonna uh, get you in the long run? Here's my outsider. Yeah, Barry's right. Um, so don't be rude because it won't lead you anywhere good. People will just think you're impolite and they won't want to talk to you again in the future. And you may be asked to leave the house or get transferred somewhere where staff will not tolerate bad behavior. Now, if I can get my outside and swing the camera back around to warn me, so I'm not having my back to you, okay? Because I, at the end of the Good morning everybody and welcome back to episode 39 now and sorry for that interruption there in today's transmission. Welcome once again to Out in the Belt with Baron Deer and Mark English. Well today we're coming to you live and exclusive from the Brisbane Botanic Gardens here in beautiful downtown Brisbane. Now when I say beautiful Brisbane, well, I mean look at that. Just look at that everybody. You've got a lovely view of Brisbane there, which we'll show you in just a moment. But so what has been our second part of our show today, we would like to, um, we would like to show you uh, around the, the Brisbane River, and we'll show you that, but out and about we've been um, creating a series called Out and About because Mark and I want to show you the many sites of Brisbane before I came back to Brisbane, back to Sydney, and here's Mark now, good morning to you, um, welcome to episode 39 once again. Thanks Barry, and uh, yep, I hope we do get to do a few more uh, videos of Out and About before you head back to Sydney and uh, give people a bit more of a, an idea of where they can take their chairs in Brisbane and still have access to all the facilities that they want. Okay, and like we've said on many of the out and about videos we brought to you, please do not pick up your rubbish and go, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> because there are bins right in front of you. It's Mark now. Absolutely, Barry. So, never condone leaving litter. If you uh, can't put it in a bin, pack it up. You'll see a bin soon enough. And if you don't see a bin, take it home and put it in the bin at home. So it's not a hard task. Well, we might show you a rubbish bin, actually. So let's show you a rubbish bin. So from here, whilst I can't show you all of them, but I can see three sets of bins from here. So there's absolutely no excuse for anyone littering in a place like this. And this park, ladies and gentlemen, is in absolute pristine condition. Like, we've, we've um, we said this on the Scarborough episode many times, and just look at that, like, this beautiful, area we've got for you here and this is what out and about is all about and on a beautiful 
spring day like this, why sit at home? Here's Mark now. Yeah, it's a stunning day for us to get out at last. We've uh, just had shocking weather, well, by Brisbane standards anyway. Uh, it's been cold for us and a uh, fair bit of rain, but I think this is the first Monday that we've had where it's just been sun, warm, and it's just a beautiful day to be out and about. So why sit at home, ladies and gentlemen, and not, and not do anything? What a waste of a day, is Mark. Absolutely. Well, I'm just putting it out there, but I think this beats any movie that you'd be able to show me as far as uh, just bringing joy to me, I have to say. I love being out any time but in surroundings this beautiful and uh, on such a glorious day it's hard to imagine anything could be better than this so if you've got a picnic basket pack a picnic on the lap overs, grab a picnic basket guys and you know what to do there's plenty of parking around so why not make the most of this beautiful Brisbane weather. Here's Mark now. Absolutely. And, Barry, I don't know if we've chatted about it, but because of the River Walk, which is fully wheelchair accessible, it means that you can get onto the River Walk virtually anywhere without having to drive into the city and get yourself into the city and direct access to things like the Botanic Gardens because the River Walk is literally just below us as we speak and uh, comes around the entire park. Uh, so, you know, it's probably three quarters of the park is bounded by the River Walk and as well as having all its own internal paths through the garden itself. So lots of space here. Uh, you don't have to come into the city to access it as far as parking's concerned. And you, know, you can make much more of a day of it as part of a, a journey around the river walk if you want it. So we're going to now take you, give you a pan around the Brisbane River. Now, we might as well, I might as well talk, walk, we might as well walk and talk. Walk and talk at the same time. Now, you can see here, okay, this takes you down, okay, towards the, the construction area of where things are being built. Now, down we go here to um, where this area was um, impounded by floods in early February or late February. Now, we might yeah. actually just get out in the middle and do a spin so that your camera pans around, Barry. Okay, so we're going to do spin now. So just look at, look at that. So a bit of Brisbane City in the background now. And uh, did we get the story bit? You might have to swing just a bit more this way. And um, we got that there. And we got that. Oh, bound to have got it over your right shoulder right now. Might just put that up a frack. And this way, did we get it? 
guaranteed. I can't see it for the glare off the screen, but I know it's there in your background. So we might give you another glimpse of it when we move further down. So people riding their bikes here. Okay. So we're just currently on one of the large walking riding paths that uh, comes down from the Botanic Gardens and onto the Riverside Walkway. And in Brisbane terms, we're, uh, we're at the southern end of the city, which is up against one of the, uh, the bends in the river. might just come over here and tell you about the river home. Okay, so public docking of boats for access uh, to this southern end of the city and the botanic gardens but uh, it has been set up with a lot of boat moorings and obviously the plan is to have temporary mooring facilities here for people to be able to either dock for the day or moor their boat for a week so there is some docking facility as well as mooring facility and uh, a lot of this is rehabilitation post flood as well. A lot of these riverside uh, boating structures were destroyed during the last flood. So there's still a lot of construction work going on, bringing it uh, back to a usable state. Okay, so we'll just go back, go underneath this little bridge here and capes so are I'm going to be going out now this is Kangaroo Point well, actually, this tells me what it's all about. Because this, it's the other side of the river, it's Kangaroo Point. But this is going to be the Kangaroo Point Green Bridge. So it is obviously going to be a walking, cycling bridge only. Uh, connecting Kangaroo Point to the southern end of the city. Okay, so it's coming out. So now we can give you a proper look. So now we can do pull over here and give you a shot of the story bin now. Alright. I'm never quite sure whether I'm actually showing you anything. But I'm sure you can see the story bridge now. And the northern end of the city. So, this is what I'm about to invite guys. So, this is why Mark and I 
bring the show to you each Monday here. And this is episode 39, as I have said, is Mark now. Yep, so from here, uh, Barry, we can go further into the city. Uh, the river walk has no shortage of places to get coffees and beverages and food etc as well as being it's just a beautiful way to to travel through a major city is skirted and you know just enjoy the openness of being on the water and it's surprisingly peaceful down here considering that we're in the middle of a fairly significant city. And look at how clean that river is. Look at that. Would you like to wake up with a view like that? I'm sure you would. <laughs> I'm sure I would too. And if you're staying in a hotel, guys, and you've got a view like that, get up and take a picture of it. See? The sun rising over the river. Here's Mark. Yep, absolutely, Barry. And, uh, you know, it is a very pretty city from the point of view of it's got lush gardens, beautiful trees, lovely walks. So you can get out and about very easily in Brisbane. And you don't have to go very far before you come to parks and public spaces that are there just for our enjoyment and the aesthetic value of having some open space for people to be able to use in an otherwise busy city. Okay, so 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 why waste time sitting at home on a beautiful day like this? Here's Mark now. I know that I'd rather be here than sitting at home, that's for sure. Unless you're sick, of course. <laughs> Unless I'm sick, of course. So, so, so let's go back to where we started the program and tell you a few rooms. So, come with us. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. It's come down to this. And it's the final hurrah from Brisbane Airport. Joining me now for the final time, it's a very good morning to my outgoing co-host, Mark Henry. Morning, everyone. Morning, Barry. And morning, morning Barry. Tim. Good morning, everybody. Yep. And we're just about to one say goodbye to Brisbane now. So, so it, it, <laughs> it's not going to be a wrong video. Okay, so um, it's not an episode. So, um, so Mark, it's come down to this, mate. It has, Barry. Hey, it's been such a long time coming. I can't, uh, I certainly can't get a feel for just how excited you are. Uh, but I'm sure that you are extremely excited by now. Yeah, so guys, we haven't got time to bring a long video because I'm. Um, very soon, um, the program that you've been watching will switch over to the Sydney program. So, if you want to see me um, tomorrow, you will have to switch over to the Sydney program. So, so Mark, well, what a great experience it has been to work with you. Oh, Barry, it's been a pleasure for me. As I've said so many times before, uh, 
complete ignorance of anything to do with technology. So uh, you've taught me a lot, and I thoroughly enjoyed coming along for the ride, I have to say. Except that your chair is very heavy to push when it gets stuck. And like we like guys either has been a wonderful experience up in Brisbane. Okay, so unfortunately, okay guys, we have to say a farewell from here. Okay, so my guys, that literally does bring to an end of the series. I uh, thank you so much for, for coming along on the ride and going find an experience to be in my Well Barry, we've uh, trip time low through Brisbane so you've got a very good look around in the, uh, the time that you've been here and uh, you'll be able to take those memories back to Sydney knowing that you've done the right thing. So guys, as we close our final sign off together, I think uh, um, I can, I can eat it. Okay, so, so guys, as we say goodbye to, to you for the final talk time, the number that we rely on, 24 hours a day, you know what it is, people feel like, please don't use that number for stupid, trivial issues, please. And for the final time, here's Mark to close the very final episode with that. Thanks, Barry. And yes, triple zero is an emergency only number. If you have an emergency, please do use it. If you don't have an emergency, knowing that emergencies are for police, ambulance, and fire, fire, uh, if you do need them, absolutely use triple zero. But anyone, anyone calling and wasting their time is potentially endangering somebody else's life. So please don't bugger around with it, guys. It's not a, a number for chip chatting or anything like that. So, so guys, um, that's all from Brisbane, from Brisbane, I see you back in Sydney guys, thank you and goodbye, and Mark, here he is, say goodbye. Thanks Barry, and thank you for everything that you've done for me, with all the experiences that we've had, and all the things you've shown me on YouTube and taught me how to use, and I greatly appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing your new productions coming out of the Sydney studios. But for now, uh, thanks for your thanks for your time and company here in Brisbane, and this is Barry Bear saying um, farewell from Brisbane now. Uh, thank you, and have a very the rest of my day. Take care everyone and, and remember to tune in for the Sydney shows. And remember, the Sydney, the Sydney Sydney production really commence tomorrow. So, from us now, from Brisbane, a very good, good, good morning to you. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Bye. What?